As students, we may need to study a lot of things that we can't really make connections to and that we just have to stuff in our head, just like that. And because school never taught us how to study properly, we spend a lot of time just doing that, learning the details of a topic in hopes that we get a higher grade or just for the fun of it. Here I want to present you the best method that you can use in learning those uh, bits that don't really make sense or that you don't have, you, you can't make a connections to like numbers or percentages and uh, this is the best way to retain that kind of information on the long long term. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, my name is Paul and today we are talking about space repetition, the second fundamental principle of learning effectively. So this is the third video on this specific topic and uh, you don't really have to watch the other videos to understand this, it will make a lot of sense on its own but after finishing you can uh, easily check out the playlist that I made which I'm gonna link in the description down below. Now how do we store information for longer periods of time? Because you may think that you can read two pages three times a day and that you will learn everything on those pages but I'm sorry to tell you, these are all lies. The way you study, the way we study as humans, the way our brain retains information is in two ways. The first one is pulling things out of your head instead of stuffing things in. You have to pull things out. And the second way is by doing that frequently so you tell your brain that that information is useful for you and that it needs to be retained so you can use that later because it's something useful it's something that your survival depends on it at least this is what you want your brain to think your mammal brain so space repetition i think this is pretty self-explanatory you just have to space out the time that you are recalling a specific fact so that it remains in your brain so that you don't forget it because if you just learn a thing once it doesn't mean that it will last forever after sometimes just two days you can see that you don't remember the thing that you learned and this is why we have to space out our repetition to repeat that thing that you learned in a specific frequency or a fre frequency that will allow you to take that information from your short-term memory and put it into your long-term memory. Okay, so this is the diagram of space repetition. As you can see here, this is when you first start started studying a topic, when you first learned it by heart and you knew it, knew it perfectly. And this is the curve that that uh, information, that factoid, that topic will last in your mind if you don't use space repetition. Now, if after a while after a day let's say you come back to your desk and start recalling that thing actively not just rereading it but to reconstruct the way you learn it to remember everything from your head not just reading stuff you can see that that information now is up again at 100% retainment and then it has a nice curve as well and as you can see the time that you remember that information now is a little bit longer but if you add a larger frequency let's say after a week 
from the second time that you recalled that information, you recall it again. Now it has even a longer period of time of retention. And this is how space repetition works. If you do this consistent, consistently for at least a month, there is no way that that information is gonna slip out of your brain. So the way I use this is for specific factoids that I can't really make any connections or any relations to, if that makes sense. Because I can learn the idea of a topic by understanding it, but I can't learn the rate of the heart, the heartbeat or the volume of the heartbeat or I don't know, a speed of light or something that, something like that because I can't really make a relation to that number because it's just a factoid. This is when I use space repetition, although I use it always, uh, of course, for uh, and for repeating the whole idea of a subject, but usually if I understand it in the first place, I can't really forget it because I made a logical connection and it feels much easier to rebuild that pathway that I took into learning But because it's rational for me to think in that specific way, if that makes sense. But with these factoids, I can't really do that, so I have to space out the way I recall it, I recall them, so that I don't forget them. This is what I did last summer, and I didn't even know that it was a thing, I just felt like this is the way I remember stuff, because I saw that if I learned something after a week maximum, I didn't really, I couldn't really recall what I learned. And you don't need any kind of paper, any tools, you just need your brain. And I think that you always have your brain on you, I hope. And the way I did is, I used to recall it in school, on the street, on my way home, in church, whenever I had a quiet place where no one could interrupt me and in that time I just retook the pathway I don't know um, if you don't understand it if you don't understand this I don't know how to explain it in a different way I thought about how my, did my teacher explain this topic to me when I first learned it how did I first learn it? What connections did I make when I first learned it? What did I learn after I learned something else? How did I memorize it? How... What did I think about when I memorized this stuff? What was next after this one chapter? What other chapter was next? What was the idea of this chapter, what helped me learn this. And I recalled all that information when I was in church. And you may know that this is not easy stuff. And I encourage you, if you find a hard time into remembering something, don't just go to your textbook, don't just open up your book and read the thing that you forgot from there. Really try as hard as you can to recall that information with the power of your head without using any kind of external source. Because this is the best way of learning, of retaining stuff for the long term. If your head, if your brain sees that you struggle to remember this information because you need this information, then he thinks that you need that information for survival because it's so important to you and you 
just force your brain to think about and you beat yourself up for not remembering something. I don't say that you should beat yourself up for not remembering something, but just put in the extra effort of thinking, give, give yourself time to think about something. Don't just expect the thing to pop up instantly in your head. Just give some time, like five minutes, to think about this as hard as you can. Nowadays, the best app that I found that I use for spacing out my repetition is called Anki. If you want a short summary of everything that you need to know about Anki and the core principles and how I use it, I will do a video soon about this amazing app and I will be linking in the description down below. So you can check it out if you are seeing this uh, video after a while of me publishing it. Now, if you didn't watch uh, the other videos of this series about how to study effectively, effectively, you can do that by clicking the video up here. And thank you so much for watching. I wish you a powerful mind and a relaxing weekend. Bye.